Okay, so this is a blank branding board template and I just want to show you how to populate it. So we've got everything here just kind of categorized. So we've got where the logo goes. So we've got a space for main logo, a sub logo and an icon. We've got style, which is the brand style along here. So your brand inspiration images. Colors are these five colors up here with their codes underneath. Uh, fonts are the fonts used in your brand. So we've got two here. Titles and borders are just titles of the sections here and borders are there. So we'll just ignore them for now. So what I want to do is I'm going to pull my logo files directly from an Illustrator file. You can drag and drop JPEGs and PNGs in here if you prefer. It's completely up to you. So I'm going to use this here. So I'm going to select this. This is our main logo. I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. And then I'm going to resize it a little bit and drag it up here. So that is our main logo placed. I'm then going to select, we're just going to use the text from it as our sub logo for now. Okay, resize it, drag it in. There we go. And icons. Now I've got three different colored icons. I'm going to pull them all in just so there's some variation under that section. Let's resize them and drag them in. There we go. So now we've got space in here where we have our main logo, our sub logo and our icons. And it's just very easy to see what is what. So now I want to pull across the color palette. So these are the final colors we have chosen. So I'm just going to copy and paste them in just so it's easy to swatch from them. I'm going to put them up here and oh, these I will actually drag into the logo folder to get them out of the way. And if I drop down in colors, you can see we've got the five colors here. Drop down on one, we've got the code, the color and the background. The background is just this box around it which you can switch on or off depending on what you like. So color one, I want to double click on this box here and I want to highlight this. This is going to swatch it directly from here. You can choose color by just going around here. You can enter the hex code you want, you can do as you want. But right now I've got my colors chosen, so I'm just going to input them from here. So what I want to do is select that, copy the hex code, and then change the text at the bottom of it so we can tell instantly what that color is. Now I'm going to close box one, open color two, and do the same for color two. Swatch it, copy the code, and add it under the color. So we're just, we're going to continue to do these for all of our colors along here. And change out the code. And this nice teal color, I really like that. And last one, color number five. A lighter, teal bluey, green duck egg. Who knows? Paste that in there. And we've got our colors. So I can close that file there and I can just delete that because we no longer need it. So right now we've got a really good overlook on just our general branding. So we've got our logos laid out, our color palette chosen. It's lovely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the fonts. So what fonts have we used here? This one is there. Okay, cool. So what I want to do is I want to highlight this. Okay, and there we go. And I just want to swap this and actually say what it is here. Okay, and I'm pretty sure the other one we have here is Century Gothic, let's see. Yes. Okay. There we go. So we've got our two fonts that we use there so we can 
we can easily refer to them and add them in. Now I don't have any brand styles picked out for this but what I'm going to do is we can just go here and just kind of grab our grab some stock images that we have and see what's going about. So let's add in this one. And this one. Yep. Pull some in very large. This one. This one. And this one. There we go. So what I want to do is I want to take these and just kind of pull them to where they're meant to be. So I've added them to the font palette. I'm just going to pull them up and drop them in style. And then I'm just going to pull them so they're kind of all hovering over different pictures. I like this just so they're over the squares. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them down to where they go. So this is the first one. I want to press Alt, hold down Alt, and where you hover in between, you'll see a box with a drop down arrow. Click on it and it will overlay it over that square. So this one here is for number two. And we do the same. This one is for number three. No, nope. my mistake. I've pulled it from number one. There we go. Yes, this one is number three. Number four. And number five. Okay, so now that we've got them here, what you can do is you can click on it, it will highlight it, press Command T, that will bring up free transform, and you can just scale it to fit the box, like so. So you've just got your lovely images arranged in these boxes. And it all just goes very nicely. And in a minute we will see what a completed one looks like and just how amazing it will look for both you and your clients. That one looks alright, I'll leave that. There we go. So this is our completed branding board. So you've got main logo, colours, sub logo icons, fonts used and brand style just so you can always stay consistent. There's also a section down here so you can add your website. So let me see, I'm just going to change this just so it says jillianserra.com. That's not all in capitals, so I'll click on the text and make it all capitals. There we go. 